What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most unique and useful quests in all of Fallout 76. We have Wasted on Nuka Shine. This quest was introduced into Fallout 76 during the Wild Appalachia update. It brought a full old style quest that reminds me a lot of the single player Fallout games and after completing this quest, we even get two daily quests that keeps us coming back for more. One of the daily quests, and it is the more important daily quest, is Wasted on Alcohol. This quest has the player character crafting a certain alcohol for Biv the Alcoholic Robot. Upon completing this quest, the player has a chance at many different alcohol recipes. We have Ballistic Bach, High Voltage Hefe, Hopper Hunter IPA, Lead Champagne, Rad Ant Lager, and Tick Blood Tequila. For our other daily quest, it goes by the name Tipsy Taste Test, and each day it'll be completely random. You either get the Tipsy Taste Test or the Wasteland Alcohol as a daily quest. However, for this quest, we must drink a certain alcohol that affects our special stats while completing tasks such as killing enemies. Upon completing this quest, you also have more chances at alcohol recipes. We have the Recipe to Blackwater Brew, the Recipe to Cranberry Moonshine, the Recipe to Mountain Honey Moonshine, the Recipe to New River red ale, the recipe to nuka cola dark, the recipe to oak holler lager, the recipe to old possum, the recipe to pickaxe pilsner, we have the recipe to the lead champagne belanine, the lead champagne mimosa, tick blood tequila margarita, tick blood tequila sunrise, and the recipe to the white russian. Now to begin the quest wasted on nuka shine to get all these fantastic rewards, you must find one of the party posters near vault tech university, morgantown, at several bus stops or even train stations. After interacting with a poster, the first quest marker appears and it leads to the pie house on fraternity row in morgantown. This place is filled with corpses of students seemingly killed while partying. Once here, investigate the area and read Ted DeForman's terminal and access the entry entitled a Nuka Shine. After doing so, then take the bottle of Nuka Shine on the desk next to the terminal, then drink it. Once you do this, you'll have to fight off feral ghouls that will spawn as party crashes for two minutes, and then the player will black out and wake up in a random location. Upon waking up, inspect the Nuka Shine label and solve the riddle to find the source of the Nuka Shine, which is a speakeasy near the university located in the basement of Big Al's tattoo parlor. There, the player will meet one of the most fascinating characters in all of Fault 76. Biv E. Ridge, a drunken robot that gives you the first part of the Nuka Shine ingredients. Once you get the note from Biv, go to the ETA house, read Judy's terminal, and select the entry entitled Supply Room to get the password. After that, go back to the Speakeasy and Big Al's tattoo parlor and open up the Supply Room to find the remaining part of the note. Once both part of the note is found, it reads off the required ingredients for Nuka Shine. We have 5 corn, 5 razor grain, 5 wood, 2 boiled water, 1 Nuka Cola Quantum, and 3 nuclear material. The nuclear material can be found right there in the Supply Room, but do keep in mind the high levels of radiation. Corn and razor grain can be found at the farm just south of Big Al's along with a water pump for boiled water. Nuka Cola Quantum can be found at the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant east of Charleston, purchased from vendor bots if they have it in their inventory or Nuka Cola machines. If purchased from a vendor bot, Bubbles at the White Springs Resort is the best choice. She usually has at least one Nuka Cola Quantum alongside other flavors of Nuka Cola. Finally, once you have all these ingredients, return to the speakeasy and use the brewing station to craft it and the flash fermenter to finish it. After the Nuka Shine is ready, give it to Biv to complete the quest. Once the quest is complete, Biv can be visited daily for one of the two repeatable quests, Wasted on Alcohol or Tipsy Taste Test to unlock additional brewing recipes and fully fermented alcohol that cannot be found anywhere else in game except through brewing. Personally, I think this quest and these dailies are a brilliant addition to Fallout 76 and I do hope to see more. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the most unique builds in all of Fallout 76, the Archer build. So if you want to check it out, I'll link the screen right now. You see that? That is my master Archer build. <laughs>